This story starts in 2002 where a baby boy was born in Mexico City. He was the only child for five years straight until when his little sister Elena came by. So they moved to Boston and that was when his life had changed to the better. You see, this boy had many faces in his life. Firstly, he was Indiana Jones, then Harry Potter. He wanted to be like Cristiano Ronaldo, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And don't forget Avatar The Last Airbender. He was just having fun and being himself. It was all fun and games for the next years where his two biggest problems at that age was whether there was vanilla or chocolate ice cream for dessert and to get told to stay in his room. Who is this boy you may ask? This boy tends to be me. In 2009, my family and I moved to Spain. I didn't know any Spanish whatsoever. I was just that gringo kid in my school. Until I met my best friend Lucas, he changed my life to the better and without him, I would have been a totally different person. You see, ever since I was six years old, I fell in love making home movies with my dad. It was here when I started making movies on my dad's camera. He used to edit them really well. I have learned so many things from my father that without him, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. As the years went by, I grew up and my insecurities skyrocketed. I was just sad and miserable and didn't know what to do. I got extremely insecure by my teeth, my height, my appearance. I was a late bloomer. I hit puberty when I was 16. I thought I was the odd one out. Didn't know if I was meant to be here. Was overly sad, depressed, worrying, 24-7, anxious about the future. In reality, I had lost myself. I was just in my room, crying myself to sleep at night, listening to sad music. Didn't see much point of my life. Nobody knew what was going on with me in the first place, which was the worst thing. Until I told my best friend Lucas what was happening, and he motivated me to keep trying and not giving up and spending time with me. And it wasn't until my last year Madrid with Lucas in 2017. After that summer, I joined Stony Hills College. Absolutely breathtaking, mind-bending, and from being in a small city to joining freaking Hogwarts at age 14, with all these insecurities coming in my body, leaving my home for the first time for good, leaving my family, my best friend, it was definitely a very, very scary moment, but it was worth it. When I got to Stony Hills College, I wanted a brand new, clean, fresh start. I was extremely shy. I barely could speak to girls and I was overly unhappy with myself. I did not love myself. I did not value myself as a person. I kind of hated myself, but this surely came to an end as soon when I met my friend Leo. In other words, my best friend. Leo Sagnier gave me hope and brought who I really was back to life. Since day one, he carried me under his wing for the entire time we were there. Leo and I did think we we're gonna stay in Stony Hills College for one year only. We loved it so much and we couldn't end our friendship there, so we stayed four years. We still remain best friends until this very day, and both agreed that when we met for the first time, we instantly knew we were gonna be best friends. There's something with people that I realize when you get a spark of connection instantly, knowing you feel comfortable enough to be yourself. Year one goes by and so does year two, and then we start growing up and having fun and messing around. Year three comes in and we have to study more and more as the teachers are pressuring us for these upcoming exams. Then COVID arrives and it was such a blessing in disguise because I had been filming my friends and I have been messing around for years. I flew to Mexico and stayed with my grandparents for the entire quarantine, but then it hit me. This is when I started YouTube and TikTok. That summer was probably the most important summer where I started to find myself and my purpose, but not entirely. I came back to Stone Years for our final year, year four, Long story short, I had a lot of fun and never saw the day of all of us graduating and leaving Stonius for good. Until we did. And it was one of the saddest times of my life. But I couldn't give up on my dreams. When I got back to Madrid, I went to Barcelona and got a job internship with Leo and got COVID and kept on making videos. That same summer, I went to New York City and met my favorite YouTubers, Kelly Wakasa. Elliot Choi, Sneeko. It was my first time meeting any type of content creators. After meeting them and seeing all the happy faces of their fans and I instantly knew this was what I was gonna do with my life. I came back to the UK in September, started university, didn't know anyone, but my self-confidence was pretty fine. I mean, I literally on my first days of college, I was just making videos with absolute strangers and I was just making videos with my roommates four days in after meeting them. It was such a significant change to see my progress throughout the years with believing in myself, staying true with myself, and just connecting with new people that I've never met before. 2020 was a hard year, and I believe I have been blessed, especially now graduating from my boarding school, not knowing absolutely no clue what to do with my life. I believe we were born with a purpose, and this is why we all have a gift within us. I am now studying media and making YouTube videos, singing in public, pranks, exposing myself, and embarrassing myself in front of strangers. All of this in order to pursue this dream of mine, to become one of the greatest content creators of all.
time. <laughs>